Yeah. There's a lot of bait. There's a lot of bait in the area. You can see this here. Um, I haven't even got to the spot yet. The spot's kind of just in front of me. Just going to keep on driving and uh, see what is here. But already with that level of bait, I'm happy enough with that. But I'm just going to fish here. I'm not even going to have to go and check anything else out. But there's a bit of fluff, a bit of bait hanging on the bottom. A bit of bait mid water. Oh wow. Yeah, no, this looks good. All right, I'll get the anchor down. I'll get the anchor down and we'll get fishing. Good morning. Plan today is quite simple. I just want to catch a big fish. Uh, I've got the day, it's my day off today. It's a Tuesday. The weather is looking not bad. Look at that sunrise, oh my goodness. Beautiful, the sun's just coming up. My plan is just to catch a big fish. I don't know what I'm gonna to have to do to do that. I'm gonna sit here, I'm on the back of the bank here with a bit of barely in the water as the sun comes up. See if I can't find myself a big snapper or something. But once that's um, once the sun comes up a bit and it gets light, I might head out a bit further and see what I can find, or I might head over to some reefs over here and see if I can find some kingfish. But I just wanna catch something big. Um, ideally, I'd like to catch something nice for my dinner as well. But um, yeah, I really just wanna catch something big. So. Let's stick with it. I've got half a meal out this side here and I'm gonna actually drop, uh, I'll drop my little snap bait down since it's already rigged up. I'm just gonna stick, uh, I'm just gonna stick a pilchard on here and I'll drop this one down just cause it's already rigged. But when it gets a bit lighter and I can see a bit better, I might actually stick a vibe on this one and I'll try a lure on this one. There you go. It's a 40 gram snap bait with a muley on it. I'm just going to drop that over the side here and just stick it in that rod holder. Just like that. Just let it fall to the bottom. So I can actually see this falling. It's a bit of action there. See this line here? That's my snap bait falling to the bottom, so I can literally tell when it's getting close to the bottom. But normally I'll just let it fall. Oh, look at that, I'm in over here. Straight away. Oh no, he's gone. Dropped him. Oh, crikey. Oh, first bait got hit, that's a start, I guess. I'll take that. Missed hook. I'll take that. I haven't even really got any barely in the water or anything. I put a few pellets out. It wasn't big though. Not the big boy I came for. I'm just casting that out. I'm in, I'm in 15 meters here, so my casts are gonna be roughly 15 meters. There's my snap bait. Hasn't made its way to the bottom yet. See that line there? That's my snap bait just dancing at 12 meters. So I'll drop that the rest of the way. I'm gonna stick this one out of this side corner, out of the lucky corner. This is Jack's lucky corner. I don't get to fish this very often, but same thing again today is what always happens. That's the edge of the reef here on this side. Look where the burley's going. The burley's actually going this way towards the reef. Um, I've seen it happen so many times that this corner gets all the hits. And I reckon that is why. At least that's my excuse for Jack out fishing me every time. Yep, fish on, snap bait. Oh no, dropped. Wow, that only just got to the bottom there. I put a bit of bait on it. Oh, look at it, it's getting snacked. Yep. And he just got to the bottom and it got snacked instantly. What is this? It's not big. It's not the big fish I came for. Well, it's doing a whole lot of not much to be fair. Ras boy. All right, got this Daiwa bait junkie here. I'm gonna chuck this out of my 15 pound outfit. Let that waft down. Sometimes the plastics get the damage done when the baits don't. Sometimes they just don't. Oh! 
Oh! Wow! Oh, I'm a light gear too. See that? That's my dial bait junkie. I just gave it a few twitches because I was going to twitch it in and cast it back out. And that just got slapped. Oh, I don't like the way this is going on the anchor rope. That's very Samson fish like in its execution. Wow, that just got absolutely smacked. Two twitches and kaboom boom. Oh, this is like year two. I've got 20 pound leader and 15 pound main line. I've got absolutely no pulling power here. And it's a solid fish. It's got those big tail beats. I don't want you going over there, mate. He's going for the reef edge, which is just like right there. Don't really want you there. No, come on, don't go that way. Oh, this is the downside of fishing light gear. Light gear is great. I reckon you get more hookups with the lighter gear. I think I've proved that enough times. The lighter leaders and the lighter line just seems to get more hookups, but then you get caught in this situation when you've got a solid fish on and you just can't turn it. Oh my lord. I'm not sure that this is a snapper. I'm not sure what this is actually. Hard to call. Big pulsing tail beats. I gotta say you can sneak in suspicion. It might even be a kingfish. I've been seeing a lot of kingfish at this sort of in this area recently. I don't know what it is about this area that holds them. I don't seem to find them anywhere else along this bank, but this one little zone here seems to hold them. Oh, wow, look at those big tail pulses. I just can't get any ground on it. You just got to be patient, slowly work it, be patient. Everything I want to just put my finger on this spool and like just give it some come here, but I just know I can't with this light gear. Oh, get some back and it takes back. Heavy fish. Oh, well, I've got to run if nothing else. I just can't get any colour on it. I can't even see it. It's just slugging it out down near the bottom there. I'm pretty convinced it's not a snapper. Or if it's a snapper, it's a really good one. Oh, the longer this goes, the more I'm starting to worry about my leader, my little 20 pound leader. He just does not want to come off the bottom. Let's see if I can fall in with a couple of short, sharp strokes. I don't think so. Oh, this is not over by a long shot, this guy. This is a solid fish. I just want to see colour on it. Oh, there it is. I've got some colour. What is it? 
under the boat, slugging it out. I think I'm slowly winning. It's long, yeah, I think it's a kingfish. Yeah, it's a king, I can see yellow tail. Really don't know what it is about this spot that they just seem to hold here, it's really odd. I don't get them anywhere else. Well, in on the shallow reefs where you guys see me get them pretty regularly, but as far as in the deeper water and like along the back of this bank here, which everyone sort of fishes, this is the only real little spot where I seem to get them like kind of really regularly. Oh, don't go under the outboard like that. Now he's just circling around. Cannot lift him. Well, no, not that way. Hope you guys can see him. Because if this gets, if this pings me off, I at least want you to know that I caught something. He's not ready, he's not ready. Oh, don't go to the outboard like that. Wow, starving, starving fish. 10, no, not that way, not that way. Oh, I don't want you on the outboard, buddy. Really? I prefer you on this side where the net is too, if I can help it. Wow, this guy just will not give in. Not the outboard, stop that. And then he's gone again. Crikey. Wow. These are the most stubborn fish you'd ever want to catch. I could catch these guys all day long. Okay, let's go, come on. <laughs> He's got other ideas. <laughs> Come on. Oh, <laughs> he didn't like the net. Come on, I'm sure we can come to some sort of arrangement here. Where you just don't make my life this hard. And you don't rub on the side of the boat like that because that's not cool either. Scooped him. Whoa. Dude, that was hardcore. Oh, and I'm in over here. Oh, no. I think this is another king. Wow, well, it just took some time and the burly has finally done its work and now the fish are on. Oh crikey, what is this? Oh, what the difference having 20 pound gear. Oh, this is another king for sure. The 20 pound gear, oh he's gone. That's right, I'm kind of almost thankful for that. 
the 20 pound gear is so much um, easier to get some purchase on. Oh, there you go. Spicy little king on that Daiwa bait junkie. He loved it. He's not even huge, but because I got him on that bloody 15 pound tackle, he absolutely sizzled me. I'm puffing. All right, let's get this guy back. Get that little Daiwa bait junkie. It's pretty thrashed out. These guys are okay to eat, but I like the smaller size ones. The bigger ones get a bit mushy and they tend to get worms. So I'll let this guy go. I'll just give him a minute to get his bearings. He'll tell me when it's time. He's starting to kick a little bit now. I think I'll just spear him in. And off he goes. Phew! Yeah, I'm stoked with that. Oh, it's not a huge fish, but on that 15 pound tackle, it's certainly a solid fish. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, what am I gonna do? Oh, let's whack another bait out, see if I can get another one. I'm only gonna put one out at a time this time. There, there, I just saw a kingfish swim past there. I was bringing up my bait here, my muley, and I saw a kingfish come zipping out of nowhere and just do it like a buzz, buzz bite, and then bug it off again. Let's drop this muley. Oh no, you don't need a tip wrap at this stage, Scott. Let's give this a bit of slack line and just drop that down like straight under the boat because that's where he was. Let's see what happens here. Oh, is there anything better than when you actually see the fish? That's just so cool. Start moving it a bit. Sometimes they just like it. Oh, he's right there behind it. Oh! Oh, they're definitely there. He doesn't want this muley, all right. It just doesn't look natural enough for him, I don't think. What I'm gonna do here is just put like a really small cube on. Bit more of a mouth size, bite size piece there. Chuck over a handful of cubes like that and just let them sink down. And then I'm gonna sink this down with those cubes. They're definitely there. I just saw him clear as day, like right there, following that whole muley up. So I'll whack this down with a handful of cubes, see if they just come in and zap, 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 zap. Normally there's more than one of them. See what I'm doing here? I've just dropped that down and so that free floats down. I'm just giving that heaps of slack line so it can just drift down on its own accord. Not under any tension, just look natural, just like those other cubes. Oh, this is frustrating when you know they're there, but they just won't eat. Sometimes, it, this is just the way it is with kingfish, you know they're there, but you just can't get them to eat. They just get really spooky. Um, they're quite smart fish, they get really spooky and they see through your little disguises and you just gotta try other things to try to fool them. Let's whack the bait junkie down again. They just don't seem to want that bit of mule lit. I wonder if I move it. I'm gonna clean myself up here. Get my rods out of the way. And I'll twitch this junkie back. I'll come this side because the sun's a bit nicer on this side. Oh, this marks. There they are. Yeah. 
Oh, it was the fillet of herring. The fillet of herring did it. I knew I could fool one eventually. Just goes to show you, eh? they wouldn't eat muley. I was chucking down cubes of muley. They wouldn't eat the vibe. They wouldn't eat the bait junkie. Just kept mixing it up. <coughs> and this fillet of herring got it done. What a crazy fish. Oh no, GoPro's dead. This one's not much better. Oh, they're a little bit more manageable on the 20 pound gear. On that bloody 15, I caught that one on this morning. I was really in trouble. Still a stubborn fish, no matter what. Stubborn, stubborn fish. Oh, this is not even a bloody, this is a pinky. This is a snapper, it's not even a bloody kingfish. Is that what I was seeing before? I'm pretty sure it was kings, I was definitely seeing kings before. Oh, and now the bait junkie's on. I'm gonna get this guy back. I'm in all sorts of bother here now. Crikey, Scott. There's a beautiful little pink snapper. Um, actually, I'm going to keep this guy for my dinner. I'll put him away and I'll sort out what's going on here. Oh, let's go. Don't go to the anchor right Oh, this is a good fish. There you go, I stuck with it. I knew the fish were there. I could see them on the sand. I knew they were there. It's just a matter of falling them. Oh yeah, this reel. I've always wanted to hear a bit of line come off this reel. It's so nice. It's a new 2024 TD Black. I bought it a while ago. I was worried it was going to be a little bit small. It's not as big as what the old 4000 size used to be. It's a little bit smaller. But I've loaded it with 30 pound. And it's actually really nice. Coupled with this rod here. It's a really good combo. I feel like I've got a bit of pulling power here. I feel like I could probably go another chance to drag, but I'm not going to bother. I've got his number here now, I feel. This is a really powerful little outfit for super lightweight endorphin rods. Yeah, this one's a kingfish. Oh, and there's other ones behind him too. The little bait junkie's just getting it done today. Oh, wow. Undone him pretty quickly. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Woo. Settle. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's got that little bait junkie well and truly down his gob. 
Um, this one's probably a bit better eating size, but I'm gonna let him go. I just got that snapper now, that's all I really need for a feed for my family. I'm happy with that. This guy can go. He's nice and fresh. Off you pop. All right, I'm gonna leave him. I reckon I'm gonna really struggle to fall another one now. Um, they got kind of wise after the first couple and now, yeah, I reckon I'm really gonna struggle to fall them. They're on the sounder, but I just really think they're gonna be struggling. But look, I'm gonna go in, like I said, go and check out some inshore reefs. Hopefully I can find some kings back in there. I really love them. In the shallow water, they're even more fun and super visual. So let's go for a cruise, see what we can find. That's it for me today, I'm done. Just had a beautiful refreshing swim. Um, the water's warmed up a little bit, but it's still a bit nippy. It's 18 degrees, so it's warmed up a degree since last or two weeks ago when I jumped in then. But beautiful and fresh, great way to start the morning. It's only just gone 8.30. Um, I'm gonna go get a coffee and maybe a bacon egg burger or a pie on the way home. And then uh, wife's at work, Lee's at work, and Zane's out of friends, so I've got the house to myself, so a nice afternoon snooze for me. Had a great morning. I didn't really catch a really big fish I was hoping for. I was hoping to catch like a, a really big pink snapper, but um, it didn't happen, but I was so happy like catching that kingfish. On, um, on that 15 pound tackle, that was such a good fight. Probably went for about 10 minutes, really gave me a workout, so I was happy with that. And then seeing those other kings getting to play. Oh, and I got a snapper for a feed too, so that other snapper was about 63 centimeters, I think, and um, perfect meal size for me anyway. So all up, a great morning, I'm happy. Um, the breeze is just starting to ripple now and I feel like if I stay out too much longer it's going to get ugly so I'm going to bail it now while the going's good. If you like my videos stay tuned and I'll see everyone in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Yew!